Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So in, in this video, we want to actually look at Python dictionaries. And this is something that a lot of tutorials actually cover in the beginning. And I actually postponed it towards the middle of this tutorial series. And there's not a whole lot of reason why, except for the fact that um, for me, like I feel like Python dictionaries are not going to be used a ton. You're going to use them, but they're not used a ton. Not like some of the other stuff that we focused on to date. Uh, but now it's time to go ahead and touch on dictionaries. And dictionaries are just like the, the, the dictionary book that nobody ever goes to anymore because nobody reads books. They go online and uh, whatever. But you have a definition and you have the actual keyword lookup. So you have the, the key, which is like the key. So key is uh, uh, smart. And then you have your, your value of that in your dictionary. It's going to be this paragraph explaining what smart is. So in Python, just like any other variable, we're going to say my uh, dictionary, which could be any sort of name, but this is just a variable name. And then we do these curly braces. So this is the only time you use curly braces in the Python language is with dictionaries. And if I wanted to then say my dictionary, and I'm going to do inside square brackets, I'm going to define a new key. And my new key is going to be called name. And I'm going to say equals Chris Hawks. So now if I wanted to print that, I'm going to say print my dictionary and then reference name. So if I press play, it's going to print out Chris Hawks. Now this is actually creating an assignment after the fact where I said, you know what? I said, uh, you know, do this after name or my dictionary has been defined. I actually don't have to do that. I could do it this way when I actually define my dictionary by saying name. And then with a colon, it separates the value. Now I can say Chris Hawks. And it's going to be lowercase. That's fine. Now if I want to add another value, I could say height. Uh, so height. And we'll say 6-1. And for right now, we'll just do that. So let's go ahead and print height. You can see it prints out 6-1. Now, how do I delete a value from my dictionary? Let's go ahead and this time, instead of pr printing off everything, let's go ahead and print off the entire dictionary. So when we do this, we can see it prints off all of the, uh, the values. There's only two. We have a name and it equals Chris Hawks. We have a height and it equals 6-1. So what if I say, you know what, I want to get rid of height. And then I would just say um, delete, which is D-E-L keyword. I'm going to say my dictionary, and then I pass in the key of the of, that I want to delete. So it's going to remove height from my dictionary. So when I go to, to print it down here, you're going to see that it no longer has height. So if I wanted to add it back in, you guys saw how I did that before. I could just say my dictionary height equals 6 one so now it's back so that is how you delete in keywords or I'm sorry dictionary now how do we loop through all the elements inside of a dictionary this is something that you will commonly have to do well actually you won't have to commonly do it because you won't use dictionaries that often not in my opinion uh, depending on what you do you know, that may or may not be a, a true statement, but it, either way, I don't use them all that often. But how do we iterate over them? And uh, we do that using a for statement like we've done before. We're going to say key value. And once again, these are temporary va variables. You can call them whatever you want, but it makes sense to call them a key and a value because each item in your dictionary, which is separated by a comma, has a key and a value. Key value. So we're going to say in. And this is where it gets a little bit weird because we're going to have to say my dictionary dot items. And this is something that is different from earlier versions of Python because they used to say iter items, which is weird, but we're using Python 3, so don't worry about that. Um, and we're going to say print key. And then on another line, we'll say print value. So watch what happens. Let's go ahead and put a breakpoint here. So we go to run this. And here's our key, height. Okay, so that's another weird thing is that dictionaries are not ordered. Just because you create them in a particular order doesn't mean that they're going to be read in any particular order. So here's the key, height. Here's the value. Print them out. Here's the next one. 
Now our key is name and our value is Chris Hawks. So that is that is probably weird to you guys that it actually goes out of order. So that's the thing about dictionaries. There is no order to this madness. Uh, and typically you don't need it to be ordered because you're looking things up by the key. If you know the key, it doesn't matter what order it's in. It's going to it's going to match the key and it's going to be fine. Now that make, brings up the point, what happens if you define something twice? And I say name equals new name. What happens, let's go ahead and print my dictionary and we'll say name. So we've defined this thing twice and the interesting thing is that Python is not going to complain about it, but you accidentally overwrote a value inside of your dictionary. So even though this was defined first and, it, and the order doesn't matter, it does matter and when the actual value is being created. So if you ran this multiple times, new name is, uh, it, it came after the first name and it still gets overwritten. If we did it again, you would see the same thing. I'll just say bass, I was name my favorite band and my dog's name. And we do this again. And you can see it's Bayside. So that is some weirdness. Just thought I would share that with you. The fact that w when you actually go to, to retrieve those values, they could be in any order you want. But when it goes to like overriding values by accident, it doesn't matter the order. It, it will grab the, the last one that got defined, and that's the one that goes in. All right, guys. So that's going to be it with our uh, dictionary tutorial in Python. In the next uh, video, we're going to actually look at another reason why dictionaries came first before... I talk about what we're going to talk about in the next video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, please share, please vote up. Thank you. Bye. Hey, guys, so a lot of you ask me, how do I get my foot in the door to become a programmer? And I just want to take a moment to mention Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp is a 12-week intensive course that focuses on the technologies of the here and now for web development. Uh, some of the things that they're actually teaching in this 12-week course, it's geared to get you into the, the industry by focusing on things like jQuery, Node.js, React, Angular, how to use GitHub. So a lot of the things that you're going to need to do as a developer, as soon as you start, they're going to be teaching you in this, in this coding boot camp. And the entire goal is to be able to get you into the industry within 12 weeks. So if you guys are interested in learning more information about Dev Mountain Coding Boot Camp, just check out the link in the description tab of this video. Thank you for watching and have a good day.